Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Player Moments SBC. Today we are doing uh, Levin Kozawa. Uh, description as you can see, earn a Player Moments uh, Kozawa celebrating his acrobatic goal versus Toulouse in League 1 uh, 2017 2018 season. So it was quite a while ago. Uh, decent stats. He's, ne uh, he's nearly a Hullet Club card. Nearly. And his physicality and his passing are just below. But 90 pace, 83 shots, 79 passing, 85 dribbling, 83 defence and 77 physicality. Uh, left back, hmm, stat wise I wouldn't say he's, a mo he's more of a midfielder but you know. Uh, because he's 6 foot but his work rate is a medium low. Hmm. Hmm. Different for a left back. Um, it's not high medium, it's not the other way around, it's just really weird, medium low. Uh, skill moves are four star with three star weak foot. You get he's got some real good in-game stats, so I'm not gonna complain about them. 94 acceleration with 87 sprint speed, 82 attack position, 82 finishing, 91 shot power, 80 long shots, 97 volleys. I mean Attacker? Winger? I don't know what you want to do with this card. Penalty is an aft, doesn't matter. Vision of 81, crossing of 82, free kick accuracy is an aft. Short passing of 81, long passing of 75, curve of 76. Not amazing, but they're not terrible. Uh, agility 91, balance of 85, really good. Reactions of 90, really good. Uh, ball control of 86, dribbling of 82, composure of 81, so again, not bad. Um, inceptions of 84, head and accuracy 79, defense awareness 83, stand tackle 84, slide tackle 85, again really good. Then he has 93 jumping, because why not? 86 stamina, which is actually good. 71 strength, which is not terrible. And 78 aggression, which is not terrible, which is actually decent. One, 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 one. So it's a really weird card. It's a. I. I yeah. It's one of them, and it, uh, it's it's not expensive. Uh, there's two SBCs to do. I'm guessing it's not expensive because it's medium low. Um, obviously, before we get into it, just to let you know, these are foot bin buy now prices at the time of doing this SBC, which has been out for about 20 minutes uh, since I started this. Bids and snobs will, of course, be cheaper. Uh, and don't forget prices definitely do fluctuate so just bear that in mind but I do these so you can easily mess around with them it's just showing you a method you don't have to copy me exactly but you can easily change the players around so requirements you do need one PSG player as you can see I got uh, Sarabia up in that right winger position I do have Pereira on the bench but Sarabia is much easier to fit into this uh, with requirements that you do need um, you do need one team with a weak player which makes it a little bit awkward as well as you can see I've got um, Belanda, I almost said Benat again, I don't know why. Uh, Belanda in the right back position, uh, he has, you can also use Benat just to let you know, I was saying, because he's Spanish as well. Um, but Belanda is the cheapest 82 rated team of the week card at the moment, so you can throw anyone in there. I do it this way so you can, so there's, if because most of you will have probably untradeable team of the week cards that you can throw in there, easy peasy. Uh, so hey ho. I, I still think they should be team of the week or foot champions cards in my opinion, but I don't know why you don't do that. Um, team over round of 82 with Smackbang and 82. Can't lower anyone else. Team chemistry of 80. Uh, literally take the one loyal player off uh, Kappa. We are on 80. Smackbang on. No position change or loyalty. Just, of course, strong links. Uh, yeah. Yeah, strong links. Uh, 11 players in the squad. So, as you can see, uh, you can, as again, you can easily mess around with this if you need, if you've got loyal players. I tried to put Paul Lopez in. As me any way as possible, but it wasn't working um, because obviously Terraria. It's just, it's just, it's just not, it's just not working. I tried to put eight all there, and then uh, yeah, I tried to put eight all there, and then put Lopez there, but then there's not enough 81 rated players really that I could fit in. So I mean, if you can play around with it, then fair play, good luck with it. Um, so I've gone for 82s. Some of them are more expensive than you want to be, but let's, I mean, let's go. Uh, Ator is 1.9k, is actually the cheapest 83 rated card in the La Liga and Spanish wise. Anyhow, Balanda, as I said, is the cheapest inform rated card at 12k at the moment for 82 rated. Uh, Kappa is 1.5k, uh, Terraria is 1.1k, Carrasco is 1.8k, Canales is 1.7, Lorente is 2k. I mean, the card is still usable even nowadays, now for. Uh, First time users, so that's probably why. Rakitic is 1.6k. Uh, Sarabia, as I said, is 1k at the moment. Just bear that in mind, it might go up in price. Uh, Alcesa is 1.2k, and Asenio is 1.4k. As you can see as well, uh, we have had some face updates. Uh, yeah, we've had a couple of new player face updates, which I was surprised at Asenio. Uh, so. But again, if you've got a centre back, it will save you a lot of time, save you a lot of money. Um, 
So it only costs 27.2k, which isn't too bad. Don't spend more than 30k on the SBC. You can probably get it done between 20 and 25 with bids and snobs. But here's something I was surprised at when I checked at it, when I looked at it. A small rare gold players pack. So basically, that SBC is pretty much free. It's practically a free SBC because you're getting a 25k pack. It's costing you around 25k. GG on that EA. Thank you very much. And then you get a Prime Electrum players pack for the 85 rate one, which is, yeah, I thought it might have been a rare Electrum. You know, EA, maybe, hey ho, whatever. Um, so requirements for the National Duty one. Um, you do need one French player. As you can see, I've got two, so you don't need to worry about that. I've got Fakir or Benzema. I've used both anyhow. Um, Benzema reason because he's cheapest 89 rate card anyhow uh, in the La Liga. Um, team over on 85, a Smackdown 85, can't lower anyone else. Team Chemistry is 75. As you can see, we're on 81, 80, 79, 78, 78 miles above it. 78, no position change, lot in 11 players in the squad. Again, you can easily mess around with this. We've gone La Liga again, apart from Ericsson, who's the cheapest 85 rated card at the moment. Uh, apart from, actually, apart from Paul Lopez, would you believe it? Lopez is in here. Uh, he's 1.9k. That's why I tried to put him in the other one. Ericsson, as I said, is 14k. He's the cheapest 85 rated card at the moment, so you can throw him anyone there that's 85 rated. Untradeable if you've got one. Uh, Yuri is the cheapest left back or right back that's 83 rated, apart from Acuna, which is 3.8k. Um, Aitor is 1.9k. Acuna is 3.3k. Uh, Cruz is one is the second. You've got Hazard, who's a k cheaper than Cruz, but because Cruz is a midfielder, it's much handier to do this for 41k. Uh, Fernando is 3.8k. Coutinho is 3.5. Odegaard's 3.4 and Fakir is 3.5 and then we finish off with Benzema as I said one of the cheapest 89 rated cards and yeah actually I think he is or one of 48.5k as you can see uh, Coutinho actually has a new face picture as well so there is a few new face pictures which I haven't realised myself um, I got done for 128.6k 130 max really in my opinion guys uh, 120 bids and snobs pretty easy if, if you can do it that way uh, as I said, Prime Electron Players Pack, which is a 25k pack. So, to do this Kazawa card, which I did say is not expensive, it's 155k. Well, just over 155.8k. You get 50k's worth of packs. I don't know. I, 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 um, what, what, where would you, um, obviously you'd stop. Super sub, of course, but where would you put him? If you're not going to use him as, if you're not going to start him as a left back. It's his, his work rates are a bit weird. He's got decent. He's got really good stats to put him anywhere. His passing's not the best, but you can easily change that. I mean, he's got real good. He's got good dribbling stats, good defending stats, good physicality, good pace, good shooting. Ah. If you're doing it, let me know in the comments below where you'd want to put him. Um, hopefully, I did save you some time and some money, guys. Anyhow, of course, if you did, feel free to drop that thumbs up. It does help the channel and the video. Uh, obviously, if you're new and you want to see more SBC methods like this as soon as I upload them, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I upload these, which I've just said. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video stream. Take it easy, and obviously, peace.